Alright, Shalom. This is the brothers from the GMS North Carolina. Came back with another video. Before we go any further, we all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakar Kodash. Double honor to the elders and apostles of the great millstone, teaching us to warm the true according to the Bible will rule well, and peace and blessings to the light of the nation of Israel. Today, through the Spirit and power of Yahweh by Shema Shai, you know, me and the brother in the come, you know, I'm the brother Isaiah. Uh, we're going to get into a lesson centered upon, you know, blowing the trumpet. You know, that's the times we are living in. You know, we're living in the times where if you have this truth, uh, you should be blowing the trumpet. You should be uh, sounding the alarm, warning the people of the time of Jacob's trouble. You know, a time, uh, 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 a time of trouble, you know, where race riots, uh, 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 FEMA camps, civil unrest, RFID chip, RFID chip, you know, which is the mark of the beast. All these things are going to be heightened in the world, you know? Go ahead. All right. First precept we're going to grab is Joel chapter 2, verse 1. Blow ye the trumpet in Zion. Yeah, blow ye the trumpet in Zion, you know? We're blowing the trumpet onto you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. That trumpet is the words of Yahweh by Shema Shai, the sounds of our voice speaking out there on the highways and byways and by way of videos, you know? And I said, uh, race riots, just to clarify, you know, it's going to be a civil unrest, which is going to lead to a lot of, uh, a lot of, uh, fightings within each other, you know? Everyone, every, there's, nations are going to be rising against nations. There's going to be a lot of civil unrest here in America, you know, because of the, because of the, uh, tribulation that's going to be on the earth. That's right. It reads on. And sound an alarm. And my holy mountain. So we're sounding the alarm, trying to wake you so-called Negro Latinos and Native Americans up. You know, wake up. The day of the Lord is near. The day of Yahweh by Shema Shai is fastly approaching. You know? And it's not going to be anything nice. The day of the Lord is a day of trouble. You know, a day of darkness and gloominess. Kind. It reads on. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble. Yeah, so when the words, when the when the prophets come on the scene, just like, you know, in the ancient times when Samuel came on the scene, the elders of the town trembled, the uh, the prophets, they prophesied of what? War, evil, and the pestilence. So when the prophets come on the scene, you are supposed to be trembling because the Lord has set up that prophet to prophesy against that place, meaning... When the prophets came on the scene, when the true prophets came, war was on the was was uh, was coming. You know, pestilence, it was was coming. You know, evil was coming, which is bad times. So you're supposed to be trembling. You're supposed to be in great fear. Okay. It reads on. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble, for the day of the Lord Yahweh by Shemaiah cometh, for it is not at hand. Yeah, and the day of the Lord is coming cruel, both with wrath and fierce anger, to lay the land desolate, and he shall destroy the sinners thereof out of it. So the Lord is coming to America and coming to the earth, willfully causing pain, you know? He's going to lay this land desolate with 200 million ICBM nuclear missiles. Get Amos 3. Yep. And 6. Okay. This is Amos chapter 3, verse 6. Shall a trumpet be blown in the city, and the people be not afraid? So this is a question. Shall the trumpet of Yahweh by Shema Shai be blown in the city, and the people be not afraid? You know, when the trumpet is blown, you know, uh, of course people are, should be afraid. You know, it's an eerie feeling, you know. We are crying aloud, sparing not, lift up, lifting up our voice as a trumpet, and showing our people their transgressions. We are showing our people where they're going off at and the judgments for them going off you know and that if they if that they continue in their wickedness they're going to be caught they're going to uh the day of the lord is going to come upon them as a thief in the night you know and they're going to be caught off cut cut ca ca caught cut up. up caught up unawares you know it reads on shall there be evil in a city and the Lord Yahweh Shai have not done it. And this is why 
we teach our people the fear of the Lord, you know, because the Lord is bringing great evil, you know, he's bringing great death and calamity upon the shores of America and really across the four corners of the earth, you know. So there's there's evils, you know, evil is a compound where Eve mean the time and ill mean the bad. So bad times are coming to America, you know, and the Lord is bringing it. And before he does these things, he has his prophets come out there and tell you about it. Quick precept, mm -hmm. just proving that the Lord is the one doing all the evil. This is Isaiah chapter 45, verse 7. Start at 5. Kind of. This is Isaiah chapter 45, 45 verse 5. I am the Lord Yahweh and there is none else. Mm -hmm. There is no God beside me. Go ahead. I girded thee, though thou hast not known me. Mm -hmm. Verse six, that they may know from the rising of the sun and from the west that there is none beside me. Yeah. So the only entity there is is, is Yahweh Shai, You know. Yahweh's name me uh, he to be or he exists. He is. He exists. You know, that's hey. There is no other power other than Yahweh by Shema Shai. You know, so that's who we need to fear. That's who we need to be taking heed to. You know, when the Lord sends His prophets out to warn the people, it, it's not a game. You know, the Lord has the last say so in the earth. It reads on. I am the Lord Yahweh by Shema Shai. And there is none else. Verse 7. I form the light and create darkness. Yes, yeah, so the Lord forms the light and creates darkness. Go ahead. I made peace and create evil. Mm -hmm. I, the Lord, Yahweh Shai, do all these things. So the evil that's coming is from the Lord. He's the one that's creating evil. He's the one that's uh, creating all these earthquakes and upwards of the people. You know? It's the Lord stirring things up for the, for for this great judgment that's about to come upon the earth, you know? Right. He's the one that's uh, orchestrated this uh, this pandemic, you know, by the elites, you know? Scriptures say the king's heart is in the hands of the Lord and by the uh, rivers... As the rivers of water, he turn it west so wherever he will. Exactly, you know? Get on um, Ezekiel 7 and 14. Yep. This is Ezekiel chapter 7. Verse 14, they have blown the trumpet, even to make all ready. Yeah, who have blown the trumpet? The prophets, the true men of Yahweh by Shema Shah, they have blown the trumpet. Scripture say, have they not heard? Yes, verily, they heard their sound went out through the, uh, the four corners of the earth, until all, all the earth, you know? We have blown the trumpet, we are still blowing the trumpet, you know? Warning our people until the time where the Lord shall take his prophets off the streets. That's right. Can I chime in real quick? Mm -hmm. And just to elaborate with the brother, as I was just saying, we have been blowing the trumpet for years. You know, from the time of Abba Bibbins, from the time of King Masha, High Priest Yaquab, High Priest Arya, um, all the way down to Apostle Tahar, Apostle Ramla, Apostle Rakar, Apostle Gabar, all the way down to brothers like ourselves. So like the brother said, we've been blowing the trumpet for years now, and we're still blowing the trumpet. That's right. It reads on, but none go up to the battle. But no one is preparing themselves for this great and dreadful day of the Lord, you know? So the blood is off our hands. You heard the sound of the trumpet and took not warning. You know, your blood is going to be upon you. It reads on, for my wrath is upon all the multitude thereof. Yeah, the Yahweh Shema Shai. Scriptures talk about his indignation rested upon sinners, you know, which is his righteous anger, you know, is resting upon the wicked of our people, and they're going to be judged, you know, along with these heathens. Get on um, Ezekiel 33 and 1, and we'll, um, that might be the last one. There's one more, but uh, I can't remember right now. This is Ezekiel chapter 33, verse 1. Again. The word of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Shai, came unto me, saying, mm -hmm. Son of man, speak to the children of thy people. Yeah, when we speak to them, we are telling the things that are going to happen before they happen, you know? The spirit of prophecy to tell our people the things that are going to happen. The testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. So we are, we have the testimony of Yahweh Shai, so we are uh, speaking the words of prophecy unto our people. 
tell them the things that are going to happen before they happen, you know? And how do you know that we are the true men of the Lord by the words that we are speaking? You know, starting with our apostle, uh, the elder apostle Har, you know, and the men on down, we have been prophesying, saying that the RFID chip was the mark of the beast. You know, now that's being made evident. You know, the technology is here. You know, you having doctors uh, come out and say, you know, go straight. They're 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 creating the technology, and then now they're admitting that hey, this is the mark of the beast. You know, so hey, that that knowledge is out there. Okay. It reads on. I'm gonna read that from the top again. Mm -hmm. This is Ezekiel chapter 33, verse two. Son of man, speak to the children of thy people, and say unto them. When I bring the sword upon a land, if the people of the land take a man of their coast and set him for their watchman. Which we are the watchmen, go ahead. If when he sees the sword come upon the land. And we see the sword coming. We see Esau, the so-called white man, which is left hand, sword of the most high. And we see these ICBM nuclear missiles being built. We see World War Three. You know, uh, things heightening, things ramping up. Yep. You know, and we are out there warning the people and telling you of these things. He blow the trumpet and warn the people. That's what we do. Go ahead. Verse four. Then whosoever hear the sound of the trumpet and take not warning, if the sword come and take him away, his blood should be upon his own head. So if you heard the sound of the trumpet and you didn't take the the precaution, the uh, the, pro, the do the, take the proper steps, you do the take proper heed. things, you didn't take heed, you know that was needed for you to uh, be delivered from this destruction, like repenting, you know, turn back sorrowfully for your sins, you know, confessing your sins to Yahweh by Shema Shai, you know, being in the house of mourning, you know, rather than the house of feasting. You know, considering your ways, you know, how we went off. If you don't do these things, and then not only considering these things, but actually making a change, you know? Go ahead. It reads on, verse 5. He heard the sound of the trumpet and took not warning. His blood should be upon him. Mm -hmm. But he that taketh warning shall deliver his soul. Yeah, but he that taketh warning shall deliver his soul. And that's the point. That's, that's the reason why we're blowing the trumpet, so that ye may repent. Is that verse 7? Verse 6 now. Read verse 7. Go to, just go to verse 7. Oh, keep reading down the 7. Kind of. Verse 6. But if the watchman see the sword come and blow not the trumpet. and hey, the So we have a responsibility to blow the trumpet, you know, especially if we've been given this knowledge, you know. You were warned, you know. Wouldn't you want someone to tell you that evil was on the way? You know, so we have to be, uh, scripture says, love thy neighbor as thyself. So we're showing our people great love, you know, whether they want to reject this love or not. You know, the Lord's having compassion on his people. It says, and the people be not warned if the sword come and take any person from among them. He is taken away in his iniquity. But his blood will require at the watchman's hand. Yeah, so that we got, hey, so we got there warning you, your blood is now our, off our hands, you know. You heard the warning, you heard the sound of the trumpet, you know. We gave you a clear understanding of what was coming down the pipeline. You just didn't believe, you know. Yep, verse 7. So thou, O son of man, I have set thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, thou shalt hear the word at my mouth and warn them from me. Yeah, exactly. So, these words that we're speaking, these are the words of Yahweh by Shema Shai. We're reading them straight out of the Bible, you know? We didn't just come up out of our own accord and just say, Oh, the day of the Lord is going to come cruel. The Lord is going to come and put a lot of people to death. No, that's what the Bible says, you know? The Bible says these things, and we're just giving the warning straight from the Lord, you know? Yep. Surely the Lord will do nothing, but he revealeth his secret unto his servants, the prophets, you know? The lion have roared, you know, the Lord, Yahweh, has spoken, who can but prophesy, you know? Um, that would be it. Let's go down there. Okay. Lord, Lord willing, the elect of the nation of Israel, so-called Negroes, Latino, and Americans will edify it. Before we go any further, we'd like to give all honor, all glory, and all praises. To the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Yahweh Shem, Yahweh Shai, 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 Yahweh Sh
Next up, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. I'm teaching this truth according to the Bible who rule well, and a double shalom wall to all the Sisiakim throughout the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth from righteousness and sincerity to the best ability. Till next time, shalom. Shalom.